to go to for the how to, you know that you want to get beautiful. Prim. Hi there Primpers and welcome to my Friday video, The Week in Beauty. I hope you've all had a wonderful week. This one has been a short one but a big one here at Print. As you would know, Kat packed her beauty bag filled with French goodies and set off for a much deserved holiday in Europe. Now while she's sipping on champagne in Paris or Venice or somewhere like that, the lovely Amy Starr has slipped into the hot seat here at Primpt HQ and we are absolutely loving having her with us. Um, I'm sure you're enjoying all of her posts so far and she'll be with us for the next few weeks so stay tuned. Um, but despite being a short week here at Primpt, it's still been one jam-packed full of hair, makeup and skincare goodness. So without further ado, let me start with my beauty highlight number one, um, which is my celebrity look of the week and that would be Olga Kurilenko who is starring in the new Tom Cruise film Oblivion. Now she is out and about on the red carpet promoting the new film and I think obviously she is such a stunning striking beauty naturally anyway but I've just been loving how she's been experimenting with her hair and her lipstick looks the last few days. Um, you know from that really beautiful high curly retro kind of ponytail to the really sleek side part and like long lustrous locks that she was wearing yesterday. But for me it was all about the lips, so there was that beautiful candy pink variation and of course that really rich red satiny variation as well which I really loved on her. Um, and that kind of leads me into my beauty highlight number two which is the new NARS Satin Lip Pencils. Now I'm actually wearing one now, this one is called View. Now I actually really really love these. Um, it's not just about the formula, which is in itself really lovely because it kind of really glides onto lips. It's really hydrating. It's got hyaluronic acid and vitamin E to really give your lips um, like a boost of moisture while also giving them a really richly pigmented color. Now, it does come in 12 shades, varying from kind of soft nudes and um, neutrals to really pops of bright color like this one. Um, it's kind of like a hot pink fuchsia. Um, they are available now, they're $39. So if you are a fan of the kind of crayon-like applicators for your lip color, definitely check this one out. It's definitely worth a try. As for my beauty highlight number three, as you would know, I interviewed the gorgeous Australian actress Phoebe Tonkin earlier in the week. Now, she jetted out to Australia for the launch of the new Shuyumura Art of Hair. Now, it's a range of new in-salon treatments, which just sound absolutely heavenly, and as well as that, a range of luxurious hair care products as well, including uh, shampoos and conditioners, uh, treatments and as well as that some styling products as well. So not only did Phoebe tell us about her favourite products from the range and what she's currently been using, but we also talked a little bit about her hair and makeup routines as well as her kind of beauty secrets. And what I loved was how Phoebe talked a little bit more about how important it is to kind of look after your body and how that will then reflect in your skin, um, you know, not wearing too much makeup when she has her days off and really talking about getting that inner glow while also taking care of yourself. And I really love the fact that she said, you know, she's never met somebody who didn't have a really beautiful and natural glow when they were taking care of themselves on the insides as well. So definitely check out the rest of the interview. It's over in the Blush Hour blog. Next up for my beauty highlight number four, Emma Charlotte spoke about getting started with skincare starter kits. Um, now, for those of you who are looking to get into a new skincare routine or somebody who's just starting out at finding which skincare will suit your skin tone, Emma Charlotte mentioned a wide spectrum that will suit everyone from acne related and acne prone skin types to anti-aging um, and for those normal skins as well. My pick of the bunch is the Trilogy Rose Hip Collection. Now this one's $34.95 and it's available from Pharmacies and Maya. And the reason why it's my favourite is because it contains one of my all-time favourite products, which is the Trilogy Rosehip Oil in this teeny tiny little container. Now, it's perfect for when you just need a little bit of a boost of moisture during the day, um, but also great for travelling when you just need those smaller sizes. They're under 100 mils, so you can get them on the plane um, and just really give your skin a really big boost of hydration when you need it. Um, and especially great as we're leading into the cooler weather now as well um, in autumn and winter. So check them out. And as I mentioned, there's a range of different skin tones um, and types catered for in the blog. So check out those skincare starter kits there. And lastly, for my beauty highlight number five, um, Amy spoke about some new fragrances that have just hit counters this week. And she also went to the trouble of finding out a guy's perspective as well. Now, I won't give too much away. You can go and check out what he had to say on each of the five fragrances. But my pick of the bunch would have to be the new Lan Van Mi. Now, of course, as Amy said, the first thing you want to do is check out and see if that pendant does come off the bottle. Unfortunately, it doesn't. But on a positive, it does look beautiful on your vanity table. Now, this one's kind of a floral 
fruity fusion. It's got notes of tuberose and blueberry, but it's also got licorice in it, which I think gives us this kick of quite a sexy, confident kind of finish. Um, it's beautiful and it's very feminine and girly. So if you're someone who likes that kind of fragrance, this one's for you. It's available now for $85 in department stores. Anyway, Primpers, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed the week here at Print and I look forward to hearing about your beauty highlights as well. And we'll see you next week when we will be bringing you all of the beauty backstage action from Fashion Week. So stay tuned and I'll see you then. Bye.